hope everybody is fine okay and uh, please take care and be safe so uh, today's topic is drug proving so i'll start with the drug proving okay now drug proving is a very very important question for 10 marks and 20 marks also comes so drug proving is given in the aphorism 105 to 145 by dr hanneman okay in the 6th edition of organon he has given now before i start with the topic i'll tell you in short okay what is drug proving now uh, during drug proving you know that in allopathy animals are taken for drug proving in homeopathy we take only human beings for drug proving okay now uh, human beings means what the volunteers are needed for drug proving okay so the volunteers are collected then from that uh, volunteers they are selected okay how they are selected according to the uh, physical and mentally they should be healthy such volunteers are selected okay plus volunteers like um, uh, small children okay ladies uh, males uh, so all such jenche swabhav veg vegle astat okay all such volunteers are collected okay but they should be physically as well as mentally healthy okay then the drug which we need to prove is given to them they have to take that drug okay according to the instructions then after taking the drug whatever changes that are taking place in the body right from head to toe everything even the feelings whatever mentals everything they have to mention or write in one book and that book is also provided to them then such uh, drug provings are uh, done on different different individuals so all the drug provings are collected and a data is made and then that data is compiled and then it is introduced into materia medica book hmm book and then we use that as a medicine for patients so this is how we conduct the drug proving in short okay now we will be studying exactly what how and how to do the drug proving okay which is 20 marks question so first is we will see the definition of drug proving okay the definition of drug proving is given in the aphorism 105 again in the 6th edition of organon by hanneman now what it says is it is a process of acquiring a knowledge of instruments intended for the cure of natural disease now here what is the meaning of instrument here the meaning of instrument is the drugs which we are going to prove or the medicines are you getting so the acquiring the knowledge of medicines or the drug so we acquire what the knowledge of drugs which is intended for the cure of natural disease okay now here um, it is a systematic and a orderly way of investigating the pathogenic power of the medicine on a healthy person only so what we investigate the action of the drug on the person we are treating so that we investigate okay and we write down the symptoms what we get during the drug proving so that is the definition of drug proving okay then next is before we start starting with the proving we need certain things so what things we need first one is the drug then is the prover and the environment okay we need the drug now the drug we are going to uh, give for proving should be genuine no mixtures okay and it should be very pure then is a the prover the prover how he should be the uh, prover should be healthy both physically as well as mentally the prover should be healthy okay a uh, prover means we can take many provers like from small children adults old age uh males females okay with different different constitutions physical as well as mental such provers are taken that they should be healthy then environment here environment means what it is the surroundings of the prover or the circumstances of the prover now the prover should be stress free okay he should be calm 
we should be healthy mentally physically okay then we should be um, have no urgent business hmm? we should have no addictions and uh, uh, he should be free from all the stresses he should be free from passions also now what is the meaning of passion passion means strong desire to do something okay so he should not have any strong desires to do so he should be very calm and a perfect person both physically and mentally so such is the environment stress stress free environment should be there of the true then next we start with the proving now as i told you proving is done step by step it is a systematic process so we have to follow certain rules for proving so the first rule for proving is the selection of the prover what is the rule selection of prover now in selection of prover means what we have animals as well as human beings as i told you animals are not taken for proving only human beings are taken for proving okay why animals are not taken for proving there are certain disadvantages of not taking animals for proving the first disadvantage is um we cannot get mentals okay we cannot get subjective symptoms because animals cannot speak plus they cannot express themselves so we do not take animals for proving we do not get modalities from the animals they cannot tell my symptoms are aggravated my symptoms are ameliorated okay so we do not take uh, animals for that reason then we do not get susceptibilities okay now what is the meaning of susceptibility it is a strong desire okay uh, sorry susceptibility means easily affected manje ka it is they are easily affected with something as for example थोडे जण थंड वारा आला लगेच त्यांना शिंका सुरू होतात सो दे आर इझिली अफेक्टेड सो दॅट इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड ॲज ससेप्टेबिलिटी सो सच सिमटम्स आर वी डू नॉट गेट इन एनिमल्स ओके प्लस वी डू नॉट गेट इडिओसिंक्रेटिक पेशंट्स ऑल्सो इन एनिमल्स नाव वॉट इज द मिनिंग ऑफ इडिओसिंक्रेसी इट इज हायपर सेन्सिटिव्हिटी टू सर्टन सबस्टन्सेस ओके ना फॉर एक्झाम्पल अलर्जीज तो यू मे से अलर्जी सगळ्यांना होते ओके पण अल स्पेसिफिक अलर्जी आता सपोज मला डस्ट एलर्जी आहे ओके समवन हॅज गॉट एग एलर्जी समवन हॅज गॉट पोलन एलर्जी येस ऑन सो सच स्पेसिफिक एलर्जीज आर द इडिओसिंक्रेसीज सो सच सिमटम्स आर नॉट वी डू नॉट गेट फ्रॉम द एनिमल्स सो दॅट इज वाय वी दीज आर द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ टेकिंग एनिमल्स फॉर प्रोविंग but there are certain advantages also now what are the advantages first one is the quantity of drug so how much quantity in large quantity also you can take for proving because if the animal dies also it is no problem but it is not possible with the prover to give him a large quantity okay then next is you can uh, give the uh, drug for uh, a uh, much span uh, khup length par uh, paryanta apan drug proving karu shakto okay so that much of drug proving is done then the third point is the pathological aspect okay of the drug purna drug cha action sampes to paryanta kiwa uh, samja kadi pathology zali kutle organ madhe tari to paryanta hi apan drug proving karu shakto okay uh, if the uh, animal dies it's okay but we cannot afford to lose the prover yes or no so that is why animals we do not take for drug proving then whom we choose we choose human beings for drug proving in humans also hanuman has given proving on sick and proving on healthy okay now proving on sick person we do not do proving on sick person why because what happens already because of his sickness certain signs and symptoms are developed now we give him a drug to prove what happens the drug signs and symptoms 
plus the uh, sickness signs and symptoms they get mixed and we do not get a clear picture of the medicine okay so that is why sick people are not plus in sickness what happens the person becomes either hyper sensitive or he becomes either hyposensitive okay he becomes dull or he becomes angered easily angered irritable so that is why we cannot give the drug now suppose accidentally the drug and the symptoms which are there in the patient okay they match with each other then what happens the patient gets or the prover gets cured okay then suppose if it is totally opposite the drug which we are giving and the uh, sick person which have developed the symptoms uh, they are totally opposite or dissimilar in nature then either the drug may not affect the person or it may develop a complex disease inside the person which is not good for the prover okay so that is why we do not take sick individuals for proving and hanuman has given that in the aphorism number 107 in that aphorism he is mentioned about sick people then we will see healthy persons okay he has given that in the aphorism 108 okay now in healthy people what are the advantages of taking a healthy person we get everything all the symptoms right from mental right from subjective symptoms right for any peculiar characteristic individualizing symptoms so all the pqrs symptoms we get in a healthy person which we do not get in the animals so that is why we choose a healthy person for treatment okay now in a healthy person means there are ideal provers also what are the qualities of prover so how the prover should be he should be an ideal prover now who is an ideal prover an ideal prover should be again uh, which i have told you he should be physically mentally healthy okay he should be intelligent he should be delicate sensitive and irritable towards the drug which he is proving plus he should be so sensible that whatever changes that are taking place inside the body after giving the medicine okay so he should write it down the best prover is the physician himself sensitive unprejudiced intelligent physician himself now here the students get confused between ideal and the best prover when best prover is asked they write everything about ideal prover but who is the best prover so the physician himself is the best prover is it clear now this is the best prover is given in the aphorism number 141 in the sixth edition of organ did you get this okay so animal proving and human proving in human proving we had healthy individuals and ideal prover and best prover okay then next we have the choice of prover now choice of prover is the second rule choice means it we do proving on both males and females we do proving on different age groups and we do proving on different individuals okay why we do proving on males and females because both males and females have different anatomy different physiology different psychology different sexual sphere so we should know how the medicine acts in both males and females there is a different ages different ages mein je kutle kutle okay children adults old age so again in children why we prove because there are certain uh, uh, diseases that are more often in children like measles mumps okay certain diseases are more common in adults like blood pressure and all diabetes and certain uh, diseases are more common in old age okay like cataract and all okay so that is why we should know in which age group the drug acts its best then next is the different constitutions okay the nustak uh, male female asa nahi तर वेगवेगळ्या हे स्वभावावर पण 
आपण वेगवेगळे औषध म्हणजे त्या त्या औषध देऊन आपण प्रूव्हिंग करतो वेगवेगळ्या स्वभावावर इज इट क्लिअर सो मेंटल्स ॲज वेल ॲज फिजिकल्स बट दे शुड बी हेल्थी सो इन दिस वे द सेकंड रूल इज चॉईस ऑफ द प्रूवर इन दिस वे वी चूज द प्रूवर अँड गिव्ह द ड्रग फॉर प्रूव्हिंग ओके देन द नेक्स्ट वन इज द थर्ड रूल is mode of administration of drug mode of now how we prepare the drug for proving okay now suppose we have uh, uh, indigenous drugs indigenous meaning me tumhara adhi pan sangitle class madhe indigenous plants means those that are native plants the locally available plants so such plants are taken they are chopped into fine pieces on that uh, we pour a little boiling water okay extract the juice strain karaycha gaalun ghecha juice we put a little alcohol in that and the prover should take the prove so what we were saying we were saying the method of preparation of drug which we need to give for the prover for prove okay that is given in the aphorism number 123 in the sixth edition of organo now first is uh, suppose the uh, native indigenous plants which i told you which i have already told you the meaning of indigenous means what the native plants or locally available plants such plants are taken they are chopped juices taken from them a little bit of alcohol is added and given to the prover to take it okay then the second is the exotic plants or the exotic drugs exotic means what that which we import from other countries which are not available in our local area so when we uh, import it is usually in the powdered form so when it is in the powdered form what we do we add a little bit of lukewarm water to it and given to the prover to take it okay now there are uh, mineral salts gums which are uh, also given for proving so that time also what we do we again uh, give add a little bit of uh, warm water to it and give it to the person for proving now suppose you have a drug which is uh, there with you for a long time and you feel that the medicinal qualities of it have weakened so during that time what we do we make a decoction of that okay decoction means what what we do is take the drug pour warm water into it keep it for some time strain it okay galun ghaycha and then we give it for the prover prover to take that medicine so this is how we prepare the medicine for drug proving are you getting that okay then next rule is the mode of administration now how to administer the drug when you give the drug it should not be usually in the crude form okay the drug should always be in the potentized form in low potency it is given so we give the uh, 30 potency drug for proving okay in the potentized form so how to tell the uh, prover to take the drug at least a uh, four to six globules are given okay he should take it in the morning for several days when his stomach is empty okay so on empty stomach four to six pills he has to take every day for several months like that or several days okay so this is how we give the medicine for the um, proving did you get this okay so today uh, we'll stop here okay so before uh, closing it i will just revise in short what i told you today so drug proving which aphorism 105 to 145 aphorism so definition very important it's given in 105 aphorism madhe definition dile so acquiring the knowledge of instruments for the cure of natural disease and it's a systematic and a orderly way of doing it okay then is the 
prerequisitions in prerequisitions i told you about drug prover and environment drug should be genuine the prover should be healthy physically as well as mentally and environment should be stressful free okay we should not have any stress then i told you the rules so in that the first rule is selection of the prover in selection of the prover i told you what is animal proving and human proving animals are not used for homeopathic proving only human beings are used okay in human beings we have again sick and healthy people sick people are again not taken for proving i told you why they are not taken and then is the healthy people healthy people made ideal person ideal prover kon ahe ani best prover kon ahe so best prover is the unprejudiced physician himself is the best prover are you getting the next is a choice second rule is choice of prover choice of prover in that we have males and females you should not know why both on males and females proving is done age different age groups children adults as well as the old age then different people with different constitutions such is the choice of the prover that is the mode of preparation of drug third rule okay and that is given in the aphorism 123 now in mode of preparation i told you if you have a locally available plants what you have to do if you have got exotic plants what you have to do salts and gums apan kasa deto weak medicinal substance apan kasa prepare karto decoction karun ani ma prover la deto so all that is the mode of preparation of the drug okay and then and the last rule is mode of administration now how to administer also i have told you we have to only administer in potentized form and in low doses is it clear okay so 4 to 6 globules the prover is asked to take every day empty stomach for several days or several months okay then all this as i told you different different age groups ki mai different people madhe apan proving karto tya saglyan kadun data collect kela jata hai compile kela jata hai ani mag te materia medica madhe introduce kela jata hai and we as a homeopath use that as medicine to cure the patient okay in the next class we will see how the proving is conducted what are the precautions and how to record the symptoms okay thank you